visit parallel.life forward slash referral forward slash play parallel to get immediate access to the closed beta plus a bonus pack. Here we go. <clears throat> they don't look like senior citizens, I'll tell you that much. No, these two guys are absolutely in shape. <laughs> what I was going to say earlier is I can empathize with them to feel like you're too old to do something. I'm a washed up YouTuber. There's TikTokers now, streamers, Aiden Ross, Kai Sanat. I'm the old guy. I know what it feels like. You want to get out there, you want to prove something. Well, these two have got their chance to prove something here. It's the Black Packs for Hudson, the White Packs for Shinzo Machida. Yeah, guys, is Shannon the, 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 the oldest fighter that we had so far in Calgary no, Combat? Shinzo is two years older than, than Shannon Hudson. Shinzo Machida is 46 years old. 46 Unreal. and 44, so two, two, two are, are two veterans. And what are they using, the Machidas? I mean, their faces and the skin is so smooth. I mean, <laughs> Lyoto, he looks 10 years younger. He looks like 15 years younger. Uh, former UFC champ Lyoto Machida is, of course, in the corner of his brother Shinzo tonight. You've got to say the musculature of Shannon Hudson. Mark Hudson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they both look like they are in their 20s. It's, it's unbelievable. Nice little question mark kick from Hudson. They say as you age, you lose some of that reflex, that snappiness, but it doesn't look like these guys have lost much of it. No, they look phenomenal. I love it. Maybe some peptides fl flowing through those veins. Yep. <laughs> and maybe the diaper gives it away also. <laughs> you know, it was interesting. Okay. Uh, Machida told us that he'd, he'd worked a lot more clinch than he perhaps typically otherwise would because he felt that was going to be key to endurance throughout uh, this particular rule set. No clinching as of yet, though. Yeah, it's true. Very much like his brother in the UFC, right? Like Leo, the way he fights. He's looking for that uh, that reverse punch. Oh, that was a good one. That was the, the best one so far in the fight. That's what he said. He was going to be precise, right? Yeah. But you see, the, these two fighters are, are, are a, a lot more technical than the the one we've seen previously. They they oh. they they're not as as aggressive. Oh, oh. Axe kick to the face. That was a nice setup, right? Yes. He did the first with the opening into the body. And then he faked him and he made it into a hook kick. Hudson's on ground guard is, is pretty. Oh, Shannon the Cannon Hudson landing well to the head of the Brazilian there. Yeah, Shannon, Shannon the Cannon has a very good uh, lead leg. The kicks can come out from every angle. Well, he works with Bill Wallace, so uh, there you go. Same style. Yeah, fourth yep. degree black belt is uh, Shannon Hudson. And so far, Machida, his best weapon bit is, is uh, straight, straight right. Closing seconds around number one here. See, somebody leans back with me, I always go for body shots. I look him dead in the eye and then I go for a body shot. Hopefully he pulls his head even more back and then dunk those whole up like this. You can tell Let's how go. much risk. Let's go ahead and listen into the corner of oh, Shannon did. Hudson here. Right. Me and Josh are going to fight. Me and Josh are going to fight. Nick said, <laughs> you be first and you be last. That makes it fun. You got me? He's doing yes. good, champ. Most importantly, stay off that line. Yeah. He's doing exactly what we thought he's going to do. Off that line. Hello. Watch your gun, watch your gun. So Talk they're calling for the corner. The corner of Shannon Hudson are calling for him to stay off that center line. Good advice, I'm assuming, boss. Yes, it's very good advice. Because he's very lineal, going straight forward the whole time. So if you stay off that track, you're going to be good. And he's also he has the skill to do it. This is not an easy thing. If people say that to you, that you're just going to do it, you know. Boss, GSP, how, how does the respect these two have for each other affect their desire to beat the living crap out of each other? Well, well, I, th I think they know that their opponent has a lot of experience or th their they're hesitant to to commit and with with a reason. You know, they, they're both very, very skilled and very experienced fighter. Listen, I, I walked into dressing rooms when I had to fight a friend and I would say, listen, I'm gonna try to knock you out. Hopefully you do the same with me. Afterwards you drink a beer. Cool? Yeah, let's do it. Because <laughs> er everybody's watching, that respect goes out the window, I'm telling you, really fast. Our token holders 62% favoring the Brazilian here. But it's very even so far through this opening round. Yeah, remember, so far, oh, Machida, nice. Machida's best weapon been his straight right. And, right. and he still uses it very well so far. Going to the body now. 
And it's the speed paying dividends there, able to get in and out before Hudson can respond. And Hudson, his best weapon so far has been his lead leg. I really like that side kick and then that hook kick he made. Make him think it's the same kick and then surprise him. Why not do that again? Yes. He's uh, pouring with that lead hand. The hands down guard just so different for traditional kickboxers to spar against. Nice. Oh, nice hook. Got the line hook. Vegeta continually with the center of the pit here, controlling the range, but Hudson firing back now. Yeah, Hudson seems better to move side to side, but Machida better straight, straight, forward. straight, straight and back. And it's all cross and it's all right roundhouse kick to the body, but Machida. Hudson and then suddenly surprised you with the high kick. Hudson's eyes seem to be focused very low. I think he's watching those kicks more than he is the upper body. Yeah, preferably you want to look at the chest. And don't look at the eyes, because you do that with some fighters, you're going to get hit, because they got to look somewhere else. And demeanor is also important. The whole demeanor needs to be going down, and then let him think it's a low blow with a high shot. Uh, no, no signs of failing gas tanks for either of these two fighters yet. And, and, oh, that's a big reverse punch landed, but Hudson completely unfazed. We didn't, I, would, I would like to see a little bit more uh, attack to the legs. Yeah. by these two athletes, because we've seen only, we've seen them attacking only uh, iron in the, the belt. And there you see Lyoto Machida um, in his brother's corner, pit side. I was just going to say what uh, Hudson needed to do, and he did it. He countered the right kick, countered with the cross, because the block is the load for your cross, so why not? And then he did it. Beautiful to the body, I like that as well. Uh, trying to work his way in behind that jab. Yeah. Second round in the books, touch the gloves as they head back. Yeah, we didn't see side. we didn't see much takedown as well. Nope. That's a, it's a great it's a great clash of clash of style, you know? But, but what you say, George, imagine if both though you're gonna be a karate guy, why not start focusing on takedowns? You take somebody completely out of the game. 100 percent Well we haven't seen a takedown really as of yet. Let's take a look at some of the replays though. Lots of exchanges landed by both fighters here. A very even round again. Yes. That was laid in the round head, across to the body. I love that and set it up with the right hook to the head. You see, that he needs to counter. That right kick, double block, and double block and come back with a cross. Because you gotta shut him down. If that's one of the weapons that he throws the most, why not shut him down with it so make him scared of it? Do you think both the shape. Do you think age what, what? Do you think age has anything to do with their uh, not wanting to go to takedowns? Is that a lot of energy consumed? No, I think it's both pure karate, uh, karate guys, and that's why they do it. Yeah, but neither of these guys, uh, you know, their predominant disciplines are the striking disciplines. So choosing not to clinch as of yet. Hudson again coming behind that pouring jab. It's a short jab. One of the few times we've seen Machida respond with that lead hand. Yeah, what, 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 one fighter that was... Oh, it was very beautiful. Good reflex. <laughs> what, I was, what I was going to say is one fighter that we've seen in the past using that kick-punch technique is Lyoto Machida, who's uh, Shinzo's brother. Oh, tries so the pin here. He's going to get warned for pulling him onto the strike. So that's not legal. No, you can grab the head and you can pull them onto it, but you cannot be gripping at the moment of impact. It's not confusing at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Microseconds we're talking about here. Microseconds. Microseconds. That's it. That's Once your name again. in it. Here you go. Once again, representing for the casuals. See, there's the counter that I said on the right kick to the body. Shannon, we see that Shannon been uh, targeting the body nice. first and then climbing up to the head, which is a good strategy. Because Mashida is st 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 stepped very straight up. That's it. Front leg is there as well for the calf kicks. You were talking about it. Where are they? That would have been a great weapon as well. 
especially the outside ones. And I know it's an open stance, it's harder to generate power, but still with a wide stance, it's possible. A bit under 90 seconds left here. Again, Machida using that rear leg. And Hudson, just to say, the rules are the, the fighter was the aggressor and pushing forward the whole time. That's going to count for something. Stop. Oh, again, the referee Stop. is going to warn Machida, oh. potentially take a point Stop. here. Look at me. Look at me. Hard warning. Don't do it again. Oh, he's going to get You're one last chance. You have to let him go. You understand me? Don't hold. Ready? Time Boss, in. what are your thoughts on the lack of leg kicks here? Why are they? Why is it not uh, Hudson not targeting Machida's front leg? Exactly, because the white stance is much harder for him to pull the leg away. Yeah, and it, it, it would work for both of the guys. I, 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 I'm sure as well. The only thing is, it would be more dangerous for Hudson to use it because Machida has a good blitz with his straight, straight right. Yep. So it's self-preservation. Yeah, but if you set it up with strikes, hand strikes. 100%. Well, that lead hand found the head of Shannon Hudson, but they're both staying very close in the range here. It is Machida continually marching him around the ring again, though. 20 seconds left in this bout. There we go. Oh. Yeah, it's very slippery there. I saw some guys slip. Oh, the five seconds. Like it. He kicked in his eye. I saw that. I saw that. And I think it was noted by Hudson. He's mad. Uh, he goes to work with that lead leg again as this bout is going to expire. Nice, nice yeah, fight. But I don't know if, it, if it's over. Well, the aggressor, the person who came forward to use the hands and strikes and kicks, I would say, is Hudson. Yes. A really, really even fight from these two. Let's go ahead and find out how Robin Black saw this one. Such a cool fight, guys. You know, Hudson's using that bladed stance and intercepting with the side kick and the cut kick. It's kind of an old school style, guys, reinterpreted Bill Superfoot Wallace kind of style. If he wins this fight, that will have been a key to it. Doing something, it's not new what he's doing, but it's a little bit forgotten. Chinzo's training partners haven't been fighting with that exact technique. If Shannon Hudson wins, he took a lot of risk to come in here and put himself out in the open. He could have been laid out, so could Chinzo. These are people that take risks, and that's how we should all be in life. Don't be afraid to try things. Go out and take risks. Whoa, 100%. A little motivation at this point. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the official decision. The winner, by unanimous decision, from the blue corner, oh. Shinzo Machida. Uh, Shinzo Machida. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.